Hi everyone, I think it's time for a review on the Fox Pro Frame MTB helmet. It's equipped with MIPS technology and uh, made for trail riding or enduro, whatever. I had like three crashes on this helmet, like once, once on the forehead, and it was just fine. Then I had one where I had the front wheel stuck on the ground somewhere on the downhill track and uh, the visor came off and snap it off pretty easily like this it comes off okay. there it is, it's connected with the um, small plastic tabs it did come off when I crashed not not too fast on my head went over the bars now I have the third crash it, this was a pretty bad one I had a concussion I went over the bars and hit my head on a rock and I suppose I landed with the uh, face guard first it did manage to stay in one piece so I'm pretty happy with the chin guard, it didn't come off as I expected and I also had a dent here so I hit, hit my head two times apparently, I can't remember exactly but it was a really hard crash and I hit my face on a rock like that like on the, on the chin guard I had a concussion, I didn't remember what day it was and uh, couldn't remember where I parked my car on the second day so it's pretty shook up and I have to say I can't re recommend this this Bo Fox Pro Frame helmet too much for downhill at least and not for enduro racing when you're racing on a bike park track so I would you know recommend you stay away from this helmet because this is the reason there's really very minimal padding inside the helmet if you compare it to a proper DH downhill helmet as you see chin guard has almost like none no 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 padding whatsoever inside it's a lightweight helmet that's why I bought it but I, I think it was a really you know big mistake the crash crash could have gone you know really bad for me and injured my at least my neck a little bit so this is the MIPS, MIPS inside frame that is supposed to rotate when you crash I hope that helped I did crash really hard and hit, hit my head so I suppose you can remove that MIPS, MIPS stuff from there might, might as well remove it because I uh, got this Got a new helmet from the insurance company, or at least part of the amount I paid for this. So this is supposed to be the MIPS, MIPS part of the helmet. It's supposed to rotate with these small plastic tabs inside the helmet. You can see them being attached here. There they are. So uh, that, that plastic part is held by these tabs it's four parts and as you can see it's this helmet has really minimal padding inside this is this is like only the soft part in in the neck area and uh, the, rest, the the rest of the helmet is just like normal whatever it is EPP I suppose so imagine, imagine crashing on a downhill course wearing this this helmet. Just makes absolutely no sense to to me at least. My next helmet is definitely going to be a real downhill helmet for bike park racing. You don't want, to, you just don't want to be wearing this when you crash. I mean, after I hit my head, I was like, oh, oh god, why did I have this toy toy helmet on my head? It's just stupid. It's too lightweight for any serious racing. This is this helmet is actually more like for just just normal 
MTB trail riding. It's supposed to be good for that, but nothing else, in my opinion. Thank God it managed to be stay in one piece, so uh, I didn't fracture my jaw. I mean, just my uh, forehead. I hit it, hit it, you know, so so hard inside this part of, of the helmet, my forehead, and uh, my chin. Chin has been bruised, and it's. I, I crashed on Wednesday and it's Monday now and it's still sore from from hitting this chin, chin guard. Okay, it has some has some soft material in in it, but it's really lightweight. So I would stay away from this helmet if you want want uh, want to be riding bike park stuff and going fast. That's the miss part inside there. And this this is really uncomfortable. At least I had the uh, picture of this MIPS frame on my forehead for like three and four days. Just just a bruise from it. I do hope it did. Did like help? Okay, it's according to this sign. It's the weight of the weight of the helmet is like eight eight hundred fifty grams. So it's like two hundred grams. Lighter than a downhill helmet, a good one, but but still, I'm gonna get get one of those next. I think I'm gonna go, gonna go and try to crash this, and 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 totally break this helmet now. I try, tried to hit the uh, helmet as as hard as I could on the uh, on that block of solid concrete, and I did manage to break the helmet. Now I think that that part is broken, but the chin guard is still in one piece, so it didn't come off as I feared. And I've had heard about the pro frame losing the chin guard too easily, so uh, it's been pretty nice. Still in one piece, but it's broken. Okay, I did manage to break the helmet now. I did hit it as hard as I could on that concrete. This part is broken. You can now actually see what the helmet is, how it's made. There is a hard piece of plastic, and then the uh, elastic red part is on the chin guard. It's it's not easy to break at all. I did hit it as hard as I could on that rock, so yeah, it's, it's broken now. But still, still the chin guard won't come off, so. Actually, I'm pretty surprised. Maybe they've improved the design of the helmet or something. But no way you'll ever be be able to crash that hard. I think hit that kind of velocity. Okay, I mean the helmet is completely destroyed now. It's there's almost nothing left. But the chin guard, <laughs> it definitely will stay on. I mean we can we can remove this padding oh, somehow. Yeah, it's connected or attached with the plastic tabs as well. Now the frame is broken from here. The steel the the chin guard won't, won't come off. No way. Everything is broken everywhere, but it's still in one piece. Well, actually, pretty nice performance on this helmet. I'm pretty surprised I can't break it. 
I did hit it pretty damn hard on that. <laughs> 